the goal of this uh, tutorial is going to be to code our page so that we'll detect if the browser has the Flash plugin installed or not. And then we can send it to a page, uh, to another page without Flash. So this is actually pretty simple. One of the most common questions I get is, how do you um, encode the Flash to an HTML page? And that's really one of the easiest things to do because Flash will do the majority work for you. So I've just created a very simple Flash file uh, that just, you know, so that way I know that it's working. And I'm going to come up here, and I'm having this movie follow my cursor right now, just be easier to show. So I'm going to need to go move slowly here so I don't make you dizzy. But what you do is you just, first of all, save your Flash file, and be careful where you're saving your Flash file to. Because when you publish your movie, it will create an SWF and an HTML page and put those wherever you last saved your Flash file. So we can go to our Publish Settings. Now, in your Publish Settings, we have different um, HTML formats here, different Flash um, uh, choices, and we also have just the formats. Now, for the formats, your GIF, JPEG, and PNG would just export, uh, what it'll do is export one image from whatever frame you're on as a JPEG, GIF, or PNG. The Windows and Macintosh projectors are interesting because that will be used to play a flash file on the stage, uh, well, on the desktop of either a Windows or Macintosh machine, whether or not it has the plugin installed. It just plays natively. And this is really useful because um, if you want to create a game or a kiosk that plays on a machine, regardless of, it, of if it has flash or not, you can use this. Um, now, I should say it doesn't work like with an iPhone or iPod. They just won't work with Flash at all. But with most machines, this should work fine. I created a kiosk several years ago, well, actually about five years ago, um, and uh, it's up in Bellingham. I used a Macintosh projector to export it, so it's playing in a museum in Bellingham. All right, so the HTML and Flash page is what you want to have selected, and that will export uh, both those files and embed the Flash to the HTML for you. Um, for the Flash, just all these defaults are usually fine, but uh, just note you can change your player version if you're like going backwards, way back in time to maybe a machine from the year 2003 or 2004. Incidentally, I did have to go back to about Flash Player 4 or 5 to export for it to work with the, um, the uh, computer I was using in that museum, because it was a computer that was like from 2001. All right, the HTML. Um, you can detect the Flash version. For right now, I'm not going to because Dreamweaver has a difficult time of working with this. So for right now, I won't. And I'll come here and just select OK. And then what I'll do is publish. So you just come up here and go File, Publish. Now it creates that SWF and HTML page for you. I'll now move this out of the way. And it's really pretty simple. You just take this and drop it into Dreamweaver. And we'll change around. What I wanted to show you is it brings in a bunch of code for you. It's embedded the SWF file for you. And within Dreamweaver, you can actually see that SWF file as an object. Now, if you want to, you can take that. You can just drag it all around and you can make ta uh, you know, tables. You can obviously, you can use div tags as well to make areas. I'll go ahead and make a table just quickly and I can take that and drag it down. And then it goes inside that table then I can write some code here, and some code here, and some code here. And now you have your flash file embedded. Now I can actually make that smaller too, as well. So um, it's easy to embed your flash to an HTML page and to work with it appropriately. Uh, that's how they put banners in there. Well, they actually do it often through, through server side, but essentially it's this type of thing. They just make a table or an area by using div tags insert the flash code within that area. And if you do have Dreamweaver, another web authoring program, you can actually come on down here and it'll show you the areas that are highlighted for where your code is. A long time ago, back when I first started to learn Flash, we had to write all that code to embed the SWF player. We had to use the object tag and, and a whole bunch of stuff. So, um, but that, since like 1998, that hasn't been necessary anymore. It does it all for you.